Today I'm going to show you how I'm using Dropbox together with my SnapScan scanner to digitize all my documents for the new year. Uh, if you're not familiar with Dropbox, head over to uh, getdropbox.com, read about it, check it out, you can get a free account, try it out. There's no obligation. I've been using the free one since it's been out in beta and I still have plenty of space left. Um, basically, it allows you to have a folder on your computer that you can use to sync everything up. It, it looks like a normal folder um, and anything you drag in here gets synced over to the Dropbox servers which is actually Amazon S3 and then you can it's stored online um, but the best part is the syncing process that I can give this I share this account with anybody that has Dropbox and as soon as I upload something their Dropbox starts to download it so it syncs to their computer so within seconds they have the document I just copied in there they can go ahead open it change something and I'll get the updates um, very quickly. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how I have hooked up my scanner so that I can digitize everything. Okay, so here I have a document that I no longer use. Um, I blanked out some of the stuff. I take it over to my scanner. Uh, my scanner's in the closet. I have it hooked up to a server. So I go ahead and put the document in. Usually I do this every day with my mail. I press the scan button. I have it set on the second highest setting, so it goes decently quick. Um, it's done. Usually what I do is I'll throw it down to my shredder. Uh, I won't now it's because it's noisy. And this scanner is hooked up to an old white MacBook down here, you can see, uh, with some extra drives for storage. And it's actually put on the Dropbox folder on that computer. And then, once it's done there, every other computer that I share it with, which is this laptop, gets that same update. So we can see that now instantly that scan has appeared on my other laptop because it's synced over from the Dropbox account. Um, and actually if you go online and refresh now too you will see that the PDF has now been uploaded online as well so instantly I have access to it anywhere I want to go. Here it is. Um, and that's how it works. The SnapScan scanner works really really well too and it comes with some free software that is called Fine Reader. It's a great program and what I do is you can see here I have a pending and a processed. Every week or so I will run a batch process and run it through this Fine Reader program which actually takes the text or the image that's scanned in and creates an invisible layer in the PDF so it's searchable. Reads OCR is called and it will make the text searchable, which is fabulous. So I run it through that program, and then I'll move it to my processed directory. Um, and you can see now, when I open it up, if I search for something, it, it can actually find the words. So it makes it great if I you know, ever want to search all my documents for something. It's, it's just a really great feature. And again, that got synced over to Dropbox as well. So that is how I'm going to use Dropbox and my Snapchat scanner to organize and digitize all my files for the new year.